Hello my friends, welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you're new here, my name is Jordan and today I'm back with Not As Home. We're gonna do another exploration scenario in the video today. Uh, I plan to do sailing through Sydney in this one. I haven't looked at it, I have no idea what to expect, but I'm really excited to, to dive into this one. So uh, I hope you'll like it too, but let's dive into the game. Let me get it up on the screen um, and let's get into it. All right, here we go, my friends. The mission briefing for this one. Sailing through Sydney, a friend has a problem with the engine of his speedboat. He is stuck in Long Bay. You could help him since you have the exact same speedboat, but you will have to find him first. So we just have to reach the destination. Uh, we're in the Vigo, which is really good. Uh, this is the first time we've seen the Vigo. I haven't actually shown it at all on my channel. Um, actually, speaking of which, I haven't shown any of Sydney on my channel yet, so this is the first time we'll be seeing uh, the Sydney Harbor scenario, uh, the Sydney Harbor map uh, on my channel. So I hope you enjoy that. Uh, but yeah, so the Vigo is a luxury yacht. It's not a big bo boat. It's actually only 17 tons, 15.8 meters long. Uh, I believe it's 4.4 meters wide. And this must be 5.1 meters high. So, you know, not a big yacht, um, not a big boat, but we're going to start here. And as the map shows, we're going to turn to starboard and head into the main channel, sail towards the main exit of the harbor. And then we're going to take a turn to port and head into this side channel here and um, find our buddy in his speedboat somewhere here. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what this scenario has to offer. Let's get, get going. Um, let me get my instruments going as well. Oh, there we go. Alright, so... We're gonna... Oh, what am I doing? My key bindings aren't working. Wait, what? Ooh, it's so quick. Wow, 20 knots already. I wasn't expecting that. This is definitely very different from uh, actually steering a ship. Um, I'm gonna try my best to. I wonder what the top speed is on this ship on this boat. By the way, this is what it looks like. I give you a quick look. It's quite nice, actually. I feel like I. I went on a, a boat like this before. What is this, a flag? A buoy? Looks like a buoy with a flag, or no, it's a big ship. Oh, sorry, a big uh, sailboat. Tall sailboat. I didn't think it was moving at first. So, I don't really like the, the look of the wake f behind this boat. I think it definitely needs some work. And uh, I'm noticing that this scenario is actually freezing up a bit too. Uh, like it's stuttery, so there's definitely some optimization that needs to happen here. Um, but you know, it's, it's nice, at least it's daytime. <laughs> Ooh, I see a clipper canary ahead.
Oh, and there's a big sailboat as well. It's interesting. This perspective is so so interesting. Being in a little like a small boat as opposed to a big ship, you see so much more in the big ships. But uh, you know, this is a good good perspective. It's a good angle. Oh, there's a couple of cruise ships here. Uh, also, the Sydney Opera House. You know, I don't know much about Sydney, but uh, that opera house is definitely um, very iconic, right? Is this ship moving? Like, is it maneuvering? I feel like it's turning, using its thrusters or something to turn. Let's see if I can get around it. It's not the, ah, oh, it's the clicker cockatoo. The clicker, clipper cockatoo. We're getting really close to the opera house. Really close to the ship there. That was a really beautiful view. There's the opera house. Love it, love it, love it. This is actually really cool. Alright, so we're still heading straight ahead. I think there's a bridge in Sydney, um, like an, obviously there's this bridge, but um, I thought there was like a very iconic bridge, maybe that is the bridge, I don't know, but there's the opera house, uh, I think there's a bridge though, somewhere, if it, that's not it. So it looks like the max speed on this vessel is uh, 35 knots. That's what we're topped out at right now anyways. Ooh, we just went over some wake waves there. That's cool. Ooh, this is a nice view. Oh, it's the port side view. This must be the bow, yeah. Bow view. Stern view. I like the bow view. Ooh, it puts you right there. Uh, we need to stop turning. They even have a diving board on the back of this. Look at that. Okay, so we're gonna start turning to the port side here so soon. Um, just trying to figure out where we're supposed to be heading. Somewhere in this direction. I see a lighthouse over there. Another view of Sydney from a distance. Maybe that, I, I think that is the bridge. There's a little lighthouse.
Yeah, I'm seeing like the wake is kind of like, I don't know, it's doing this weird little pull, pull forward onto the back of the ship, which, or sorry, back of the boat, which doesn't seem normal to me. Um, I mean, it looks fine here, but I don't know, when I'm looking ahead like this, I'm noticing it's stuttering, so I'm not sure what that's all about, but hopefully, uh, hopefully the developers can get that fixed. It's definitely more noticeable on this, sh this vessel than any of the other ones that I've played so far. This boat has a azimuth as well, which is interesting. Uh, what happens if I turn that forward like this and just like slam it ahead? Yeah, it's not doing anything. Not contributing to my speed anyways. I'm already at the max speed, so. Uh, we got a big vessel coming up on the starboard side. Looks like some type of Coast Guard vessel. Oh yeah, zoom in and there it is, Coast Guard. I think I seen this vessel when I did the um, uh, Cross the English Channel. I don't think this is playable, but I could be wrong. I haven't seen it yet. I wonder what the name is on, on the vessel. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Give me my binoculars. The Alamedi? Meta? The Alameda? Couldn't really see it. it so it went by so fast. Let me go back and get another get another look here. They're gonna think we're pirates or something. Oh here we go. Alameda. I don't think that's a ship that uh, is playable. I don't think I've seen that on the list. But it looks beautiful nonetheless, and if it's in the game as a non-playable, I mean, I'm sure it's gonna be available at some point, right? I just wanna correct myself. After I finished the scenario, I went and checked, uh, and the Coast Guard ship is actually there, so I was wrong. Just like those sailboats, I'm pretty sure that uh, the sailboats are coming at some point too. Alright, so we're gonna head, looks like we're heading into this way, so let's just get around this cape here, get around this uh, Coast Guard ship. I wish I could honk my horn at them, give them a salute, but that's not possible yet. Hopefully horns are coming soon though. Alright, so right around this cliff it looks like that's where we're heading. There's the open ocean, at least to the end of the map. <laughs> Looks like another sailboat coming up on the port side. Alright, so we're heading into some really shallow points here. It's like really dark blue. Uh, I think we should be fine though. Like this, this vessel doesn't really have a big draft. It's a nine. Uh, yeah, I'm just taking a look. Actually, I could probably show this. Can I show this?
We're at 6 6.2 meters, 6.1, 6 meters. This is the depth. Uh, 5.1. Yeah, like we should be fine. This this ship doesn't go too deep. Uh, it's not not a. I mean, I keep calling it a ship. This is a boat. This is a, a yacht. It's a motor yacht, a luxury yacht, whatever you want to call it. It's um. Yeah, we're we're safe. So. There's some nice houses along here. I'm sure these are like really expensive houses. Some beaches and stuff. Uh, I think it said that the friend is going to be down here. Uh, I should probably double check that though, right? Uh, let's see. Briefing. They are going to be, yeah. Uh, down here. like another sailboat. No sail though. The sail seems to be up. Oh my god, we're coming in really close. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, probably should slow down for this bridge. Let's back the engine back. And I'm not sure it's the best way to go through this. Pretty sure these concrete barriers are there because that's not the way to go. So, we'll, we'll... is this like a toll bridge? What is this? This is so interesting. It's a. It's kind of like a. I guess it's signals for for the boats so that they don't crash into one another. I just have to get myself oriented here. Spit bridge opening times. When bridge is open, wait for green light before proceeding. Interesting. I haven't seen stoplights for boats before like that. Alright, we're on to the other side now. And our destination is just ahead. Uh, I believe it's in this area here. Seems to be more houses on this side too. More than the other side. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, the, the house models don't look great. They're not uh, spectacular, they look pretty flat to me, so I hope that they're planning to improve that kind of those kind of details eventually, or at least give us the option to increase the uh, graphics settings, because that's not a thing yet. Maybe they're just like uh, placeholder images right now, which is totally fine. We're in early access. I'm not going to rag on the game too much.
supposed to turn starboard now? Starboard. And should be straight ahead somewhere. I think I see a boat there. Is that it? Wait a second. Oh, there's a few boats over there. I think it's this one. These two have sails, this one doesn't. Or, I shouldn't say they have sails, they have masts for sails. This one looks like, uh, another Vigo. sure where I'm supposed to go or oh there we go reach destination uh, you found you have found your friend's speedboat he is glad you are here to help great I think that's it um, typically with the exploration scenarios I actually have to uh, uh, end it myself um, but yeah so that's uh, that's the other ship there it looks like the name is the same on the, the, the stern, uh, so unlike the Clipper Canary, they don't have multiple different names to use for the same model, uh, so that's a little bit strange to see the same boat twice, but you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. It was a nice surprise when I saw that with the Clipper Canary. Uh, but yeah, let's stop the boat here, and there we go. <laughs> So that's it for me on this one, sailing through Sydney. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought down in the comments below. Uh, I will be doing Winding Down the Rhine as the next exploration scenario. So if you want to check that out, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification icon so that you're notified when I post new content. I'm also still working through my the Maneuvering One course. I have a few more uh, scenarios there to complete and then I'll be moving on to Maneuvering Two. So if you're interested in checking that content out, uh, that's also in my channel as well. But yeah, until next time, thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to like the video if you liked it and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And until next time, take care and I'll see you soon.